How's it going everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today's video is going to be about uh, my second tool haul of uh, 2021 and as you can see I got a couple different tools here um, and we're going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to show you uh, why I purchased each one of these and what I'm going to be using them for and um, basically the reasoning behind them. Um, we'll start with uh, the Where's I Cops right here. This is a little ratchet set. 28 piece ratchet set. Comes in this cool little pouch as all their other stuff does. There you go. This is actually a standard set. I don't have much standard stuff. So I figured why not? Bought this on sale from uh, kctools.com. Um, it's got a whole bunch of assortment of bits over here. Got color coded sockets as uh, all their stuff does. Um, got an extension in here. You also got uh, the adapter right here for the bits. Looks like a locking adapter of some sort, yeah. And of course, the ratchet. This one right here, the quality of this one is worth it. I think I paid uh, another $60 shipped for this. It's actually a sale that Casey Tools uh, was running. So, very cool, very nice set. All their stuff is super, super quality. Stuff is made in a uh, German company. I believe it's made in Czech Republic. I'm not 100% uh, sure on that, but it's definitely quality, quality stuff here. All right, moving right along. Got this uh, DeWalt uh, 90 uh, angle adapter. Uh, this comes in a uh, special useful for doing interior work or a uh, maybe uh, doing some muff flaps or stuff like that without having to remove the wheels. I do a lot of uh, muff flaps on uh, Civic Type R's and uh, this works really well for me. I had something similar to this. It was a little bit bulkier, uh, but I let a, uh, a coworker borrow it and he uh, lost it. So he actually purchased the, the, this one. Um, actually it ended up being cheaper than my original one, but it's a little bit slimmer here. So I liked it better. Um, this of course is made by DeWalt. Got the part number over here. Um, it's a DWARA120. I got this off of Amazon. I believe I paid uh, just uh, over 30 bucks for it or so. So very nice. So you put your bit over here, any size you want, you know, attach this to your drill and off you go. So very cool, very productive tool. Everything I buy guys um, is either gonna be because uh, it's gonna be make me more efficient. It's gonna make me uh, a little bit uh, less uh, stress on my body or easier to find, um, you know, whatever the case may be. I like to support smaller companies, up and coming companies, um, you know, try to stay away from the mainstream guys sometimes. Uh, there is a time and a place for all that stuff, but, um, you know, I pick and choose uh, basically what I want very, uh, you know, and prioritize it. Um, here we have, um, this is a, a hook, right? As you can see. This goes on your lower control arm. It would hook like so right here. And then you would put your pry bar through here and use this as leverage. Now, some of the older Hondas have uh, the uh, the lower control arms in the front, kind of have a hole where you can kind of do that. The newer ones, a lot of them are aluminum. And a lot of times you can't get a, a, a proper angle on there or uh, there's no hole at all. So uh, it makes it really difficult. Um, this will give me a lot of leverage using a pry bar. I'm only 5'7", uh, about 150 pounds or so. So sometimes I'm hanging on these control arms and it's I just don't have enough clearance to, to get the ball joint out of the, the knuckle. So this is gonna be very useful. Like I said, you slide this onto your control arm like so. You're gonna put your pry bar through here and then use as much leverage as you'd like. Uh, I also purchased this off of Amazon. Um, I think it cost me just under uh, $16 or so shipped, uh, Amazon Prime. The part number for this is 6007, made by OTC. They make a lot of uh, the tools. Um, sometimes uh, they get rebranded and other manufacturers sell them, uh, bigger companies. Um, so, but these guys make quality stuff also. Um, very affordable. I mean, you can't beat it for 15 bucks. If it's gonna make my life easier, I'm all for it. All right, next and final, we have these uh, tiny ratchets. Um, this one's a quarter inch, obviously 90 tooth, and this one's your uh, 3 8 90 tooth. 
And the reason I like these, I like the teardrop handle, um, but more importantly, nobody else in the shop's gonna have these. Um, these are gonna be easy to find. They got the blue handle. If some, if I'm working with someone, I can say, uh, hey man, you know, pass me the, the blue ratchet, uh, the 3 8 blue ratchet handle, and they'll know exactly what I mean. Uh, and you can never have enough ratchets. So, seems to be pretty nice. I have a lot of ratchet guys, but I, I think you can never have enough because they're always breaking. I've got Snap-on, I've got Mako, I've got Craftsman. Um, you know, you use them enough, the heads are gonna strip and they're, you know, they're gonna lock up or you're gonna lose ratcheting effect or whatever the case may be. So um, I don't think you could ever have enough ratchets. And like I said, uh, this one I believe was $16 or so uh, shipped and this one was 24 bucks shipped. So uh, for under 50 bucks, I had two ratchets here that are, you know, hopefully gonna last me a while. If I have a problem with them, I bought them from Amazon, um, AutoZone. Um, I could just go there and exchange them. Uh, there's a, an AutoZone uh, every couple blocks here in Jersey, so um, at least in my area, so that won't be an issue. Um, sometimes um, these uh, Snap on a Maco guys, the two guys that come to my job, uh, they don't have the tool in their car or in their truck, or they ask me, uh, you know, a hundred questions. Hey, how'd you break it? Or why'd you break it? Did you put a pipe on it? And blah blah blah. And uh, no. Um, you know, all they're interested is really in selling. So I'm kind of trying to stay away from, um, you know, those guys. Um, if your dealers are, you know, Snap on a Mackle dealers or a Cornwall, a Cornwall, whatever the case may be, if they treat you right, then you guys go right ahead and support them. But my guys have uh, been kind of um, difficult to, to deal with. Uh, the minute it comes to sell something, they're all about it. Um, you know, but if it's something I got to get warranted, I gotta wait six months for it or three months. It's basically uh, unacceptable in my book, especially when you're paying, uh, you know, top dollar for that stuff. You know, this ratchet you might pay 150, 200 bucks versus 25 bucks. And you know what? Nine out of 10 times, this ratchet will do the same job. Um, and like I said, if it breaks, I, I'm gonna go to an auto zone and uh, they're either gonna exchange it for me or, uh, you know, give me something in value for the same price and maybe I'll buy a little something a little bit different. But um, this is a uh, made by Titan, uh, part number 12160. Of course, this one also my Titan, uh, part number 12161. And I like this, like I said, it's blue. Uh, no one else is gonna have it, it's easy to find. So, you know, I like tools like that. I like to support smaller companies, you know, even though um, AutoZone selling this is not really that small of a company, but you know, it's still a little bit outside the box. And um, with that being said, guys, I'm gonna wrap this up. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like the video, uh, subscribe to the channel, and uh, make sure you leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought about the tools. Uh, let me know, um, you know, if there's anything else you guys would like to me for, for me to review and so forth. Um, I'm probably gonna be giving this uh, this little set away here. Um, at a thousand subscribers. So once I reach that uh, mark, um, stay tuned. And uh, one of my uh, one of my viewers will definitely uh, begin this um, this kit right here. Um, make sure you guys uh, you know subscribe, tell your friends. Um, it's a very nice kit. Um, I purchased this; this was not given to me, so I'm just gonna be uh, offering this to uh, show you guys uh, my token of appreciation for all the support I've been getting. All right, guys, have a good one.